fortunately or unfortunately, I have to speak on this uh, subject, and it's about, um, at the core of it, really, it's about uh, black employment, black male, black American male employment. Uh, there's this uh, whole thing that happened uh, because there's a new movie that came out, um, and uh, in an interview, Samuel L. Jackson was asked about this movie and said, well, it's cool, whatever it is. Um, but uh, he said he was wondering if the uh, title character, that title character, the main character, the main uh, black male character, if he would have approached it uh, differently or wondered what it would be like if he wasn't of uh, um, British, of, of, um, I guess you would call it, uh, uh, this guy's from Uganda, Ugandan British origin, let's put it that way. And it caused a big brouhaha, blah, blah, blah. People have been talking about, about it. Um, and I looked at that statement then, but then the, what really happened, the, the thing that was really set the thing off to a whole nother level is the uh, the young boy from Star Wars, uh, the new Star Wars, what is episode or se episode seven, uh, who, well, actually, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a decent actor. I saw him, uh, I first knew about him. I think there's a great little film called, a British film called Attack the Block. And uh, he's the, the, the main protagonist in that, in that film. And it's a really good film, whatever it is. Um, uh, so so he's, he's, he's a decent actor. And in fact, there's a whole genre of those things. If you look at the English or the, the uh, British uh, film industry, they've always had black people in their films. They have, they, they have them all, all in their major parts, whatever it is. Um, not so in the United States, <laughs> not until recently at least. Uh, in the United States it's a little different, you know, we struggle, struggle, struggle to get that footing. And now it seems like, just like the early 60s when you had the music invasion of the, uh, uh, of the Beatles, you know, what they call the British invasion of the music, where they were, they were coming over like the Beatles, people like the Beatles, Rolling Stones, were uh, basically uh, using um, uh, as a as a, I guess, a, as a floor, uh, the, the the blues men of, of the uh, of the United States of North America. So this is like a an actor's uh, invasion. But this is the these times are a little bit different because people are looking for money. They're looking for celebrity, whatever it is, looking for ways to get out of this circumstance, which is a circumstance that they were forced into. But the um, this young boy, he he, re, he tweets. Uh, can I say this? If you're tweeting and you're tweeting. You have to watch it because culturally you can't you can't be doing small characters and and then trying to uh, go head to head or dissing elders and and and, and Samuel L. Jackson is an elder. Um, anyway, so he's tweeted this thing, uh, some like a um, uh, black British black American uh, stop this conversation, whatever it is, trying to shut this conversation down. And um, and now Samuel was respectful of the way he said, but this, the way this guy retweeted the thing, it was actually disrespectful. Uh, but beyond that, uh, Samuel Jackson said it now, but a few, about a month ago, maybe even less, uh, because uh, uh, Denzel Washington's on a tour for his, was on a tour for his, his, his film Fences. Uh, he said something that I thought was very interesting because they asked him about uh, doing films. So I guess they asked him about Fences. And uh, I guess the question always is, oh, could a white person direct or whatever, you know, the offenses or maybe it was, a, yeah, offenses. And um, he says, uh, it's, it's not, a, well, I'm paraphrasing, but, but basically his point was, it's not a matter of, 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 of black, white, or whatever, it's, it's a matter of culture. In other words, you don't, you shouldn't look at this stuff as race as much as you look at it as culture, you see? Because there, there are certain, I, I, I go this thing I call, I call lineage. I have a lineage that my lineage sure goes back to Africa, but there's, there's some European lineage in there, there's some probably American Indian lineage in there. So um, when, I, when, when I used to act, I guess I still act now, so when I used to act, it was really interesting because sometimes I could drag up stuff, not from my, just my experiences, but from my lineage. It's almost like it's in your, it's, it's, you know, I guess the proper say is the DNA or something like that. So it's different than, 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 than a British experience, or it's different than even a Caribbean experience or, or, or a Brazilian experience. When, when those actors come up and they, and they try to deal, they, they can't deal. Not like um, uh, one of the things that was brought up with the guy that played, the uh, British guy that played uh, Martin Luther King in Selma. I don't even know why they cast him. 
You know, you, you say, well, you know, he's, he's, he's looking for the role, blah, blah, blah. How were they cast? I don't know. These, the problem probably is these casting agents, but we won't get into that. But I remember there was a film uh, done by, uh, about Martin Luther King and uh, Jeffrey Wright, who's a light-skinned brother, you know, uh, was cast as, as uh, Martin Luther King. Now, though he was licensed in Martin Luther King, he, at least you could, you, you could feel he was doing King. He was, he was getting King from his lineage, you see? So, so I think it's very important that we, first of all, need to get off this racial thing. It's, it's just too easy. It's just too, it's like a cliff notes. It's like, uh, it's worse than cliff notes. It's, it's, it's just start with the black, do culture, you know? We, we are descendants of chattel slavery. Descendants of chattel slavery. And it's a different experience than, 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 than coming up uh, from the Caribbean or coming up from, uh, from Africa or coming up from Europe or whatever. It's just different. If you was raised in Germany, you're going to be different. You know? Like, um, uh, um, uh, it's, it's just going to be different. That, that's, that's all I can say. And, and, it's, and it's, it's, it's almost like heartbreaking to me to that, that we uh, black Americans fall so long to get these opportunities and then the, the powers that be can just to just knock a whole group out and bring a subset group into our city and, and to replace us. But that, they're replacing us on a superficial level. These, these acting is a, is, a deep, is a deep, deep, deep thing, you know? So I, I, I this whole thing that's going on, this whole, uh, again, you know, dilute, I call it dilute and conquer. Uh, this is, this has got to stop, you know. This has really, really got to stop. I'm, 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 I'm sure black, because it's such a high profile thing, black celebrities will, will, will be talking about this and stuff like that. But it's not just on the celebrity tip. This is on, we've been talking about this, this is on the immigrant. Anytime you bring an immigrant in, it takes, it takes away, yes, it does take away jobs. You, 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 it just does, you know. When I say take away jobs, they can come and get their enclave, they talk to themselves, and then they, they can build what they will. They, they, and, and plus they have countries of origin, which basically means that they have resources that we don't have. Uh, and a lot of these uh, folks, that, uh, especially uh, immigration that comes over here, they have, they have resources. They, they grew up in a different circumstance. They grew up in, in, with intact families. In the last 30 years to 20 years, 30 years, I mean, the black community and black family has been so decimated that there's no guiding lights anymore. It's almost like uh, the, the, the Denzels and Samuel Jackson and the Viola Davises, whatever, they are almost like our, our parents. You almost live vicariously through, other, through, through those folks. So, um, I, I just, it's just, I, let me just stop here. I, I, I just, I just can't. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking to see that the, the black Americans is, a, is the, it's, I used to wear a shirt called, um, it would say, uh, it would say, uh, no, I used to wear a jacket. It was a, a, a paper jacket and it had the endangered species, all these animals, endangered species. And people would talk to me and I said, well, you know, the most endangered species that you see in front of you right now is the black man. The endangered species. When I say black man, I mean the black man that it went through the middle passage, that experienced, you know, we're the descendants of, of, of chattel slavery. That's what we are, and that's a different experience, and we need a different compensation than folks just coming over here and just leapfrogging over and actually talking bad about us. That's what that's what hurts so much. You, you come in, we, we 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 pave all these ways for people, and then they come. They've been watching the, these stupid '70s programs, you know, with the, the characters or, or caricatures of black folks, and they come over here thinking that that's what all black folks are like, and then they. You know, they say, oh, you all ain't nothing. You're not working, blah, blah. But hey, we work to get to where you could come over here. This is the, the I'm not just talking about, about, about black British people, man. You, Middle East, Far East, you know, uh, uh, West, <laughs> Western Asia, Far Asia, all these folks, Africans, they can come over here. And because we struggled and got things the right, they can come and, and jump over us. And it's, it's I don't want to say it's unfair, it's just unjust. And I'm into justice. That's, uh, yeah, I'm into justice. I being T from the Pattersons taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.